I did the original video several years ago when I was disgusted when they showed a bunch of American military soldiers making fun of Iraqi children. You know, and the stupid part about this is you have a bunch of racial statements. I didn't call the, the soldier in the video any racist name or make any racist statements. And for people to say, you know, negative things about me, saying I don't know what it feels like to serve my country, but if serving your country means you have to disrespect the local children, then that's ridiculous. That's stupid. Is that part of uh, intimidation tactics? You know, to make fun of little kids? I don't think so. None of those soldiers are trained to bother or mess with or pick on or fuck with any of those people over there. So when I make this video several years ago, you read the comments that go back. People telling me I should die because I said you shouldn't make fun of Iraqi kids. You idiots out there wouldn't be saying that shit if there was somebody over here. What if there was the troops from Germany over here or um, France or even um, Lithuania? What if these troops were over here, Russian troops, you know, over here to quell us for uprising? What would you do? Somebody had your child out there making fun of your kid or something like that. You know, all these ignorant ass comments on the bottom of that video is completely ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and stop comments on that video. You comment on this one from now on out. If you can't look at the big picture, look at yourself. Think about yourself. And if you're in the military and you think that shit was cool, then that's sad. I'm sorry that they did that to you. You know, that's wrong. If our country made you act like that towards little kids, I'm sorry for you. So, um, you know, for those people who think, you know, that's the way it is in war, you fuck with the local children. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's bad enough when, you know, terrorists stick bombs in these little kids and they send the kids over there to be your friends and the kid blows up in front of you. Or the kid is poisoning you. Or the kid gives them some information about your locations and all that good shit. That don't give nobody the right to fuck with the children over there in that country. You wouldn't nobody. You wouldn't want anybody messing with your kids here. You wouldn't want some some guy stalking your kids outside the schoolyard talking about uh, would you fuck a donkey, shit like that. You know, would you want that? No, you wouldn't want that for your child. So you know those people who make ignorant comments about this video, that was years ago, and you know make racial statements. It's like the video had nothing to do with race. And if it did, maybe I got to watch it again. Apologize if I said anything racial, but we live in a situation like that. You're going to judge me by the way I look. And um, furthermore, the comments about me being in an apartment and shit, I suggest you search the rest of my videos when I walk around this motherfucker. You know, don't belittle me because you look at me and think something. That's stupid. That's ridiculous. You know what I mean? For some of these people out here that looks at this video to say, <gasps> Go ahead. You're probably living in your sister's apartment on the couch in your grandma's basement. And another thing, when you want to say something to hurt a black person's feelings, understand this. Nigger, don't do it. Monkey, don't do it. All those racial statements I grew up with as a kid, that shit don't faze me. And I'm tired of people trying to do that and say that like it's gonna hurt somebody. All it does is make people tired. I'm, you know, it's ridiculous. So I want the people, again, to read the statements attached to the original video. I'm not even gonna label this video. And if you know which video I'm talking about, I'm not even gonna label this video. I won't even put a, a if you don't know which video I'm talking about, after all the years you've been watching my videos, then you're stupid. Sorry. It's the truth. Because I'm tired of hearing it. I'm tired of hearing racial statements because I said American soldiers, you know, come on, that's not cool. I said that wasn't cool, so I got to be all kind of names and stuff. Where's the moral balance or where's the moral base in this country? Is that what it is when somebody black says something positive? It's automatically that somebody, apparently white in most cases, has to say something negative. Is that it? Is that the standard? 
when a black person says something positive, a white person has to say something negative about the black person to nullify the positive, the positivity and the, and the com comment the black person made. Is that it? Is that it? Like like the statement "stupid nigger" is gonna nullify a positive comment I made? That just ratifies my comment. And I'm just I'm just tired of all that racist stuff on a video that has nothing to do with race. Oh, you don't know what war is like. You're not a soldier. If I'm overseas in Iraq and I'm doing shit, my job has nothing to do with children. I'm not a daycare facility provider. I'm not teaching these fucking kids English. Why in the fuck am I out in the street talking to these kids, asking them do they fuck donkeys? What is in one man's mind to say to a child, let alone a boy, hey, do you fuck donkeys? Where's the logic in that shit? So if you people out there who watched the original video, tell me that's cool. Tell me that it's cool what they did. Tell me on this video that it's cool what the soldiers did in that video, if that video even still exists. I don't even know if the video even exists. So for those who want to comment on that video about me, oh, black guy and nigger, whatever, stupid black person, stupid this, I don't give a shit. Okay? Fuck yourself. Or your mama, whatever you do. That's how people play games. Oh, he said he fucked my mama. That doesn't hurt my feelings. Like all that black shit you be calling me hurts my feelings. Come on, be for real. Grow up. Say something intelligent. Give somebody an a intelligent reason why an American soldier would tell a child, an Iraqi child. Oh, give me an intelligent reason why any adult, any person would tell a child or ask a child, do you fuck donkeys? Was there any logical reason for that? Take the military aspect out of it. Just say there's a regular guy walking down the street and he crosses you and your four-year-old girl. Yeah, your girl, your little daughter, your baby girl, and he looks at your daughter and says, hey, do you suck puppy penis? Dog wee-wees? And then he said, honey, that guy's just joking. You gonna say that shit? Or you gonna say, what the, what'd you say to my child? What if you leave hockey practice and there's some huge black guy off to the side. He walks up to your, your child and says, hey, little boy, you mind if I stick that stick up your mom's pussy? <laughs> That's funny. Stick your hockey, stick up your mama's pussy. It's funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Not funny. So you go ahead and leave your ignorant ass remarks on that video. Try to, oh, that stupid black guy doesn't know what he's talking about. If you haven't seen the original video, you watch the original video. And if the original video don't exist, there's all kind of ways you can suck my ass. Okay? Remember that. I, but for those who saw the video and who understand what I'm saying, hey, you know, I'm sorry you even had to see this. It's stupid ass people watch the original video and think it's funny. And then as soon as somebody do something to their child or somebody they know, they're like, man, I can't believe that happened. You know, it's all fine and dandy until it happens to you. See you guys later, man. Dumbass shit.